Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur. So today I want to talk to you guys about my, my number one tip of how you can uh, make money with Amazon FBA, how you can scale your business, and how you don't have to take over your entire life uh, by running this business. And that tip for you, it's not a secret, um, it's something I've talked about before, is lists. You can buy a list from companies, you can buy a list from other you know, FBA sellers, you can buy a list from myself. Um, all right, currently I offer two monthly lists, they're $20 a piece. You get 20 items, you get five between five to six items per week. And so I send it to you, it's normally like Wednesday, right around 9, uh, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you will get those lists every single week. So you can take those five or six items I send you every single week, buy each one of those, and you can make a profit. But there's other lists out there, okay? And I'm currently trying to do between one to two additional lists on top of that. So if you're interested in that, um, and you are not, if you've never bought a product from me over on Gumroad, just go sign up for the free um, notification. You can go to gumroad.com slash homemade entrepreneur. Just input your email address and I'll send you a notification once those lists do become available. But why do I buy a list? I buy a list because I have two kids that they, and right now it's summertime, I'm shooting this video. So I have two kids, we're spending a lot of time you know, in the summer going on vacation, just hanging out, doing some fun stuff. Um, have a wife, she wants me to do more with her, obviously. Uh, I can't be at work, can't be at the office every single hour of every single day. So I can't source, I can't source online all the time, okay? So if you've watched some of my previous videos, you know that I do, I do employ two virtual assistants from the Philippines. They send me between 12 and 20 items per day. Each one of them do. I will go through those lists, figure out what items I want to buy, which items I don't, and I will buy the ones and the quantities that I want to. Okay, so that's just the you know basics of what I'm doing. So why do I buy lists? I am currently buying more lists than what my my VAs are sending me because I want to scale my business up a little bit more. I don't get ready for fourth quarter. I don't want to work as much in the summertime. Okay, so that's why I'm buying lists. So if you are interested in buying a list from me, go check some of them out over on gumroad.com slash homemade entrepreneur. The link will be in the description below. But let me talk about some of the rules that I have when I buy a list. First off, if the list is capped off, and when I say capped off, I'm talking about, you know, it will only be sold to X amount of people. I will not buy a list if it's being sold to a unlimited amount of people. If it's being sold to 25 people, I will not buy that list because that is too many people on those items. What I do, so on my list, my personal monthly list that you can go check out over on Gumroad, they're capped off at 12 people. The reason I found that like 12 people for those 20 items is a good uh, cap is because I don't want those items to be oversaturated. I want you to be able to get the profits out of those items before the prices start to come down. The prices will eventually come down if you have 25 or 50 people on those items. So keep that in mind. Don't buy a list if there's you know, it's 25 or 50 people buying that exact same list. Now, if the list has 100 items on it and it's being sold to 20 or 25 people, that's not too bad because chances are those 20 or 25 people are not going to be able to buy a large quantity of every single one of those items. So if there's 100 items on the list and there's it's being sold to 25 people, you should be okay. But if there's, let's say, 40 items on the list and it's being sold to 25 people, you might want to you know double check that. Be very careful. Make sure you're not buying the items that are have a 30% or 40% ROI. Make sure you're up at like 60 or 70 because the price will start to come down. The more sellers that jump on that listing, the price eventually will start to trickle down a little bit and your profit margins are gonna be a little bit slimmer. So if you're at 60 or 70% to start with, they'll come down to maybe 30 to 40%. If they're 30 to 40% to start with, chances are you'll be close to 10 to 15% and that will be very scary for a lot of you guys because you don't wanna spend $100 and make $10. Nobody wants to do that. Okay, so let's go into some of the numbers really quick, um, just so 
you know what I'm looking for. Um, so with my list, with stuff I'm buying, with stuff I'm providing, is I like to find items that are, are fast flippers. Um, so I like to flip items. Um, like to hold some. Okay, so the, the flippers, the fast items, so I'll just call them flippers, I guess. Um, so those items. I'm looking at like toys that are you know ranked under fifty thousand. I'm looking at you know shoes ranked under five thousand. That's what I want because I know those are going to turn very quickly. If they're they're fast flippers, if you can get money, they're just turning them over and over again. What you need to understand is you don't need to make a hundred and fifty percent ROI. I'd be fine right here with forty percent. Okay, I'd even be fine with. 30% as long as there were not a bunch of sellers on this listing as long as this was not a clearance item I'd want it to be a full price item I'd want the the sales to be very consistent I want the price to be consistent so let's say I make 30% I'm gonna buy for ten dollars I'll make three dollars off of it what I want to see is that item is not being sold at 20 different stores if that item is being sold at Target Walmart um, you know, Toys R Us, you know, Big Lots, all these stores, you know, Fred Meyer, you know, whatever. I don't want to buy that because what I'm seeing is that the price could go down because all these stores are going to be competing for sales. But if that's a bundle, if that's an item that I know not every store has, it's a limited quantity, it's a hard to find item, 30% would be fine with me because I know I can still make the money. Now, the hold items. Items that I want, I know I can hold for a little bit. Because let's say it's a toy at two hundred thousand. The two hundred thousand ranking, and let's say it's a toy. So what I know is that it's not going to sell out in a day. A two hundred thousand ranked toy is not. If you have ten of them, they're not going to sell out in ten days. It's not going to happen. So what I would do is I want to make say eighty percent. You know, plus, because I know if I can make that on toys I can hold for a little bit, the nice part is you just mix them up. You buy some of the stuff you can hold, some of the stuff that are going to just turn very quickly. You're going to be able to make more money. You'll be able to see consistent sales, which is great. The nice part about a list is somebody's doing this work for you. You do not have to do the list. You can just buy the list. You pay whatever fee the... You know, for me, $20, other people, they charge like $100 a month, which I understand. $100 a month if they're selling to 25 people, you know, that's a great income for them. And you're you're getting the list, you're getting all the items. But what happens if all those 25 people, they start to bring the price down? So now your 40%, your 80% are looking closer to, you know, 10 to 20% or 50 to 40%. You need to understand that there's risks involved in buying a list. So... I buy multiple lists. I get my VAs to send me items, online arbitrage items, because I know some items will be good to buy, some items won't. So you just got to weed through them, figure out what works, what doesn't. So if you have any questions on what I do, why I like to buy lists, you know, why I recommend you guys buy lists as well, it can save you a lot of time. It really can. Save you a lot of time. Uh, let somebody else do the work. You know, let somebody, you know, even me personally, I do do my own uh, sourcing online. I do use OAX, I use my other software, and it works great. If you want to check out OAX, you want to try that for yourself, go to oaxray.com slash homemade entrepreneur and you'll get a 10 day free trial. So go check that out. There'll be a link in the description uh, for that as well. Um, OAXray, after the 10 day free trial, it costs $99 a month. So if you, if you find it valuable, you'll Pay for pay the ninety nine dollars a month and get this software. If you don't find it valuable or you can't understand it or whatever, just cancel it. Okay, costs you nothing and you're done. Okay, but I highly recommend this because it'll save you a lot of time. It'll save you a lot of headaches um, and you can do other things. You can you know handle the other parts of your business and let somebody else do all the you know all this work. It's this pretty much busy work that you do not have to do as the CEO or founder or you know CFO whatever you want to call yourself. You don't have to do this. Let somebody else do it. Okay? So again, if you have any questions, let me know. Go send me a message over on Facebook, facebook.com slash homemade entrepreneur. 
send me a message over there. Make sure you like my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe and uh, give the video a thumbs up if it helped you out in any way. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Hey, you guys take care.